Hey, Melissa Hostetler here with Go 80 Fitness. This is for the folks who are green, just bringing you a little reminder video for the five minute routine that we worked on today. Starting with stretch. <laughs> bend your knees a lot to keep that nice straight back. Don't forget, that's totally an option. You can bend down almost into a squat. Keep your nice, strong stance. If you want to slow it down with your breathing, we talked a lot about breathing. If you want to slow it down with your breathing, you can. But you're just trying to move your body through some range of motion. Our next one is going to be You can find your balance. Work on your balance a little bit. Balance comes from holding that side with it nice and strong. And you're just alternating side to side. Or you can do it in the air. But holding on, there's no shame in it. You're getting a great stretch either way. So just take your time and figure out what works for you. It helps you move your body. This is a non-weight bearing way to bend up the knee and bend up the hip. And get some of that good stretching in there. When exercises, but it's still a great one because it moves a lot, the muscles at the same time, and it gets in rotational work, which is so missing. Rotational work is so missing in a lot of our routines. Next we're going to do our chest open. Squeeze the shoulders back. And you have a couple options. One is to come forward and open the chest again as much as you want to with your breathing. The other is to just hold back or pulse back. I like to hold and squeeze. Make sure you keep your chin parallel at the floor. Even retract it a little. Hold and squeeze, hold and squeeze. Because it seems like you get a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more the longer you stay there and focus on that. So right now, and if you find your heels are high, remember our goal is flat feet. So hold on to something until you can slowly work into that. Frog squat is ankle mobility, knees, hips, back, middle body, all of that. So it takes time to find that position. So holding on to something, there's no shame in that. The same thing with the next one with our rotation. You've got a couple of options. One is to hold on to something, and if that's not enough, you can completely sit on the floor, which I'll show you when we go to the next side. So sitting on the floor is fine. Your goal is to press out and press in. Keep the other leg stationary. Even if you're sitting on the floor, it stays stationary. Keep going with that. lifted chest and long back. My other leg is staying stationary. I'm just moving back and forth. Good job, good job. Keep up with that. Doing a little video for Aunt Marissa. Just wait for me. as it were, or you can put your hands on a chair. There's my assistant. You can put your hands on a chair, but press into the hands, press out long. Think of the hips rising high. I'm on my tippy toes. I can pedal my heels back and forth. But I'm just working. I can see the screen, so you're sitting on your feet or you're sitting on a pillow is one of our variations. These are wide. You're reaching through the cross and you follow that elbow as it opens and extends. Reach through. <laughs> can you do that one? Extend. I'm going to switch to the other side. Right and then when you finish with that, you're going to child pose. I see you. Can you guys all do? Child's pose, stretching into child's pose, 
Get back in the camera. Get back in the camera. Stretch me in the child's pose. And again, you can sit back on a pillow. Stretch me in the child's pose. 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 Stretch me in the child's pose.